Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a vast Nurgle uh, slash Death Guard uh, horde. Uh, this is for the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. Lawrence asked us to uh, add a force to his current Death Guard force, which he's painted. And uh, Simon here at the studio stepped up and has done a stellar job in matching to Lawrence's scheme and adding all these additions for Lawrence and the guys to uh, sort of expand their force and uh, be able to do more types of lists and things so we'll be back shortly to dive in and have a look at all different aspects of the army and uh, stick around this is going to be a great one see you guys in a sec so to start off this Nurgle force uh, for Lawrence we have got the two characters from this uh, additional army uh, you've got the Forge World, it's quite an old sculpt, the Forge World um, Sorcerer, Nurgle Sorcerer, and you've also got one of the Norseus Rotbone characters as well. Uh, so these are two. We'll start with the Forge World Sorcerer, as you can see here. It's really, really it is a cool model, uh, quite an old sculpt, as I said. Obviously, you can see there's uh, Simon's gone in and done quite a lot of detail work when it comes to the banner. Uh, it's put on there the, uh, the Nurgle symbol, the, the, the round circle, three round circle symbol that as you come to expect on any Nurgle, um, Nurgle sort of transfers, sheets, or anything you've seen. Uh, Again, you can see really nice complementary red to the to the green armor, uh, in keeping with a lot of the other model in the force, and also some of the other um, models in Lawrence's army, as you can see here. You've got all the banner work done there. You've got the spear, obviously, as you can see there. He's like raising hand, ready to cast a plague of flies or something. <laughs> um, but there you go. That's just the uh, Nurgle sorcerer. You've got nice pus dripping down from the skulls at the top of the banner as well there. So that's just the uh, the sorcerer, and then. Um, the other character from this force, as you can see here, really cool. He's got loads of texture work done on all this sort of skin and sinew here, as you can see there. You've got obviously the uh, sort of the drill part on these uh, sort of augmented arm here, all picked out and highlighted as well. And then you've got the same sort of pussy, horrible sort of meat hanging off of him as well as a face there as well, which is horrid. And then you can see there's loads of pus and sinew and stuff just hanging off of his chain sword that you've got there. And uh, all the, the vials are full of liquid, as you can see there as well. Nice bit of verdigree work on some of the brass areas as well throughout this model, uh, and in keeping with the rest of the force as well. So they're the two characters from uh, this addition to Lawrence's force. I do hope you like them both. Just get the focus for you guys so you can see them. Uh, coming up next, we've got a mass of pox walkers and all the vehicles and sort of bloke drones and things at the end of the video. Stick around, it's coming real soon, and I hope you like the rest of the video. Hey guys, so here are all of the pox walkers slash infantry for this Nurgle army edition that we're completing for Tabletop Tactics. Simon's done a great job of making them all look individual, uh, which is really cool. Uh, with You've got a force like this and you've got a rabble of uh, sort of just, you know, the, the pox walkers. You want them all to look sort of ra random and varied. And uh, going in and with a set amount of colours to do that is, is quite a feat. But um, Simon's done a great job with this. Uh, start putting some of these forward just so you can have a look at them. If I just get it to focus so you can have a look. So as you can see here, all the warts, spots and pop bits are all sort of highlighted and look really pussy and... Uh, and sort of really dank and horrible. So as you can see there, um, this is just one of the pox walkers. I'm not going to pull every single one of them forward because obviously there are 60 of them. But what I will do is pull forward quite a few just so you can have a look at a variation of the, um, the different sort of uh, sculpts. Just so you can see, yes, there's some ooze dripping off of him there, uh, which is really cool. And then obviously you've got all the spots and, and cysts and stuff all picked out as well with nice vibrant yellows, oranges and reds and stuff. And anywhere that looks sort of sore has also got a really nice... Uh, sort of raw kind of look to it as well and uh, just pull forward this get this to focus for you guys there as you can see he's in a boiler suit and um, we've, someone's varied all the colours up as you can see so th there shouldn't be two which are exactly the same they've all got different bits and bobs on them just to add that real sort of rabbled kind of effect and look to them as well which is nice uh, so that's just another one of the pox walkers pull forward a few more there's one here with a bionic arm so let's have a look at him just get that to focus there so you can see and again all those areas of highlighting on the skin the flesh the metal all fully highlighted and picked out and uh, to make this whole entire big blob look very menacing and very uh, rabid. So that's uh, the Pox Walkers. I hope you do like it, guys. There's 60 of them, as I've said. Uh, coming up next, we've got all the tanks and uh, some of the actual other units in this force. Uh, stick around, see you guys in a sec. Hi guys, so last up we have uh, the uh, majority of the tanks or the tanks for this force. Um, you've got three Mephitic Blight haulers, you've got three Photide Bloat Drones, and then also you've got the Plague Burst Crawlers, which are, are very infamous at the moment on the uh, on the tournament scene. Um, so we'll start off with the Blight haulers, uh, which are these cool little vehicles here. I really like these when I saw these uh, coming out, and uh, someone's done a stellar job on them, matching them to the rest of Lawrence's force. All the brass work is very dingy, and it's got some nice verdigree in there as well, which is cool. Missiles have all been 
been picked out as you can see there the metal work on the multi-melter is very pitted and tarred and looks like it's very old and, and as well which is great in keeping with the rest of the brass and then when you turn it around the back you've got all that sort of pussy really really sort of horrid flesh work that's on the back of these as well which is really cool as you can see there and all the little individual warts and, and bits and bobs are picked out got a nice bit of chipping and weathering effect across them as well on the armor panels just to really make them look old and ancient and uh, all the little lenses are all picked out as well as you can see there which is ace uh, so that's just one of the blight haulers um have a look at this uh, absolute bad boy. Uh, these are really, really well known on the tournament circuit at the moment. They're, they're very, very, very popular. Uh, very, very strong in game as well. Um, but uh, what we've done, the same again with this, is obviously that match the colour scheme for Lawrence and the guys. Someone's done a great job with that and uh, kept it in keeping with the force. But it's, it's a lot of the brass work, as you can see, is very, very pitted and tarred, which is uh, very suiting of um, of Nurgle, as you can see there. Guns aren't attached for any of you that are wondering uh, why. That's just for safe transit and also because there's uh, obviously just the they can be attached at the end of the process uh, at Lawrence's end. But yeah, so that's just uh, one of the uh, main tanks. Um, and the other two are exactly the same, uh, exactly the same. I'll pull one forward just so you can have a look as well. So there's consistency between all of the vehicles, as you can see there, and all the metal work and all the areas of detail across all of them. It's just, uh, it's just unanimous and exactly the same. Uh, so that's just the other one there. And then we'll pull forward some of the bloke drones. We'll pull forward what I like to think is like the sort of squad leader, because he's got a bit more detail on him. You've got the big eyes and, and teeth on the carapace as well, which is quite cool as opposed to the other two. Um, there are various loadouts for these, and uh, they have all been done, as you can see here. Um, we're just obviously put the lawnmower bar on uh, for this part of the video uh, but as you can see there all the little flies and individual little bits are all picked out you've got again same consistency with all the flesh work around the back it looks really really decrepit and, uh, and mangled and sort of sort of infected which is what you want there's pus dripping out of bits as well as you can see there um, and then these, these cool little flies at the top here just uh, just sort of tagging along as he's moving forward mowing people down with his roller um, a little bit of blood on there as well which is quite cool just to really sort of see that it's been uh, been doing its job um, but that's just one of the uh, the bloke drones, guys. And the other two are very similar. I'll bring them forward. Um, obviously, they haven't got as much detail on as a sort of squad leader, so to speak. Um, but as you can see here, exactly the same consistency throughout on all the areas of armour, detail work, and uh, flesh, metal, and all those other bits and bobs as well. Uh, so that's just another one of the uh, bloke drones there. Uh, that's the force, guys. Uh, you've seen everything. You've seen the, uh, all the different aspects of the army. I hope you've liked it. Uh, if you uh, sort of come up in the last part of this video is uh, just a summary, you can see the force again in all its glory. So stick around, back in a second. Thanks for sticking around and watching to the end of the video, guys. Really do appreciate it, and I hope you have liked all the sections and this force in its uh, total. It's been a great project. Simon's had a great time working on it, and it's now going to be boxed up and sent off to Lawrence and the team at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, firstly, if you are interested in a commission, then uh, please head to our website and just go onto the contact tab, select all the drop down options which are relevant to you, and drop us a message, and uh, we can get uh, your commission started. Uh, as always, please like, please comment, and please subscribe to the channel. We really do appreciate it, and it helps us out a lot it's good to chat to you guys in comments as well and uh, if you've got a second go give us a follow on instagram or on facebook where you can keep up to date with all the things that are happening in the studio uh, thanks so much guys see you guys on the next one and take care bye, -bye.